Hi, I'm Mikey from the Crochet Crowd, here to talk to you about weaving in your yarn ends. Do you like to complain about it? Mm -hmm. I know, we see it all the time on Facebook. Let's quickly talk about weaving in ends, and let me share my perspective, not that you asked. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern, please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. So like any creative process, you're going to have to deal with the ending eventually. Always a happy ending. And some people uh, in, in this particular sample, I left my ends until the very end of the project. And I decided that because at the time when I was doing this, I was on a cruise ship and I really wanted to take my time. So listen, I love that sound. I love weaving in my ends. And I know some of you are like, oh my God, insert the eye roll here. And uh, okay, I can't do it like RuPaul's show, but um, I really like weaving in my ends because when I think about it, I've already done the crochet. It's already done. And so this is the part that is the happy ending for me. And so what I like to do is take my time. I've had a cup of tea, so I'm revved up on caffeine. And I literally, seriously enjoy weaving in my ends. Now, I know you're already thinking that this guy's a space alien on uh, YouTube and enjoying something, such a mundane process. But I really honestly think it's part, it's part of your creativity, right? And so... Um, this particular project is the summer stitch along for this year and it's got to go to our friends at Yarn Inspiration. So I can't just like throw in the stitches. I have to take my time because it's going to go through the photo studio. Could it actually be with a model too, as far as I know. So, um, yeah, it's really enjoyable. And when I think about it, big deal. It's just yarn. It's part of the creative process. So get off the Facebook get off the social media complaining about it because you realize that you're not so special because we're all weaving in tails eventually. Um, I will say though, I used to weave in my tails with a crochet hook because that's what my mom taught me. But the reality is, is that um, it actually does come out. So um, the secret to weaving in the yarn tails is to split the fiber. So when you drag the needle through that you actually go between the plies of the strand, not just between the strands itself. And that's kind of the secret to it. And the, the more you go into that process of like dragging it through the strands, the better off you'll be. So um, some people, um, they claim that their tails always come out and maybe that's true. It's probably true. Um, but you know, you just take your time and enjoy the process. And uh, the worst thing ever in crochet is when you do a granny square blanket and you give it to somebody and you see them ramming their toes through all the holes of the granny square blanket. I want to take each toe and take the pliers <laughs> and you're gonna have a great day and we'll see you again next time. I'll be thinking about those pliers and those granny square blankets that people ram their toes and fingers through. Do you know somebody like that? Leave me a comment. <laughs> and the pliers are just over there if you need them. <laughs> I don't condone violence, so. Okay, that's it. No, go. <laughs> I'm good. No, seriously, I love this.